Setting up Hestia WordPress theme to look and work as the demo, it's easy. I'll show you everything you need to do with suggestions for a personal touch. First, remember that this theme works just on a self-hosted domain name with WordPress installed on. Assuming that everything is in place, download the free version of Hestia here using just your email. Now, log in to your WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance, Themes, Add New, Upload Hestia and install it. After the installation is complete, you need to activate it. Your homepage now is far away to look like the demo, so moving fast forward, we need to create the homepage and the blog page. Go to Pages, add a new page, set the title to Home and leave everything else empty. Then hit the blue Publish button. Use the same process to create the blog page. Just type blog in the title field and publish. Next step is to change the reading options in settings, reading. Here you need to set the front page display as a static page by selecting the home for front page and blog for the post page. This page will gather the latest blog posts when somebody navigates to the blog section through your menu. Hit save change when you are done. So far so good. Now reload your website and you'll see that the home page displays the same structure as the demo. The reason I will not perfectly recreate the demo is to encourage the use of your imagination. Let's create one more important page. A page that will offer your visitors a way to contact you. For this to be done, I recommend the Pirate Forms plugin installation that fits perfectly within. After the installation is complete, go to Settings, Pirate Forms and copy the shortcode of the basic predefined form. But you are free to create a custom one using the options above. Then paste the shortcode in the contact page and hit Publish. In the next step, we will recreate the good looking header menu. I am sure you are curious about how to insert that icons in the menu items. Actually, it's very simple and you can do it by installing the menu icons plugin. After this plugin installation process is complete, go to Appearance, Menu and create a new menu with every single element you wish to display in. Open the first element and choose a perfect matching icon. Change the element name if you wish, then hit save. Just remember to tick the primary menu option before saving. This way WordPress will know what menu to show up in the header area. Now visit your home page or hit reload and admire your creation. It's beautiful, right? OK. Now we go deep in the front page customizations. Go to Appearance, Customize. Here you have options to customize every section and see the changes in real time. Take a look first at how your website fits on the screen for different devices. Customizations start with the site identity. Here you can change or set the logo, site title, tagline, this will be displayed in the blog page header, and choose a site icon. This will be the small graphic in the browser tab near the title. Hit save when you are done and move to appearance settings. In the general settings tab, you have a unique box layout option for your front page. Keep this setting close to your preferences, save and move on. Next section is with the option to change or set the default header image for a page. You can upload a custom header image for every single page using the featured image field. Just keep in mind that a perfect image for this section need to have at least 2000 pixels in height. Last section in the appearance settings is background image. As its name implies, here you can set a custom image for your background, a texture for example. Let's move to the next tab. The front page sections tab is where we go to change the look of every single section for your home page. Starting with the slider, here you can set as many sliders as you wish. To edit an existing slider, open the slider content and upload a new image. Change the text in the title field, subtitle, set the button text and add a link for your button. Here is a good resource for big images that you can download for free. 
This is just an example, you can use your preferred one. Once you are done with everything, hit save and publish. Next, the features section is where you can show up your skills or your services, with custom image, title and text. To customize it, open the features content widget, choose another icon, set the color, title and text, then set a link as you wish and you are able to add a new feature widget anytime. Remember to hit the save and publish button above every time you finish setting up a section. The about section is where you can insert almost any content you wish using the visual and text editor. Change the background image to a personal one and move forward. The theme section is where you display images and text to say something about your team members. Team content widget can display a wide range of informations, even links to the social media accounts. Set everything up and add new fields if you have a bigger team. And of course, you can disable this section if no members are in your team for now. What clients say about your products or services is the key factor to grow your business. Here you can set the testimonials content with everything you need to display. Add a field for every new testimonial, hit save and publish, then move to the next step. The subscribe section settings instructions are in here. Install and activate the Sendinblue plugin. Create an account, then use the API key to activate subscriptions. Then copy the code from here, go to widgets, Create a new text widget with the title field empty and paste the code in the content field. Hit save after you see the fresh subscription box appearing in the section. Next, in the blog section, set the title, the subtitle and choose how many items will be gathered from your latest posts to the homepage. If you wish to keep it clean, disable this section, hit save and publish. The contact section is the last one. Change the background image, the section title, subtitle, form title and move to contact content. Open the first widget and fill up every field with your own text. Choose an icon, do the same with the next widget and add a new field. Now your website is almost done. One optional step is to install and configure the WooCommerce plugin if you plan to start a functional online shop. For the finishing touch you can set custom colors for your accent and background by accessing the colors tab in the customizer. Menus are already done but you can change things here. The widgets tab can be used to set the footer sections content. And if you have CSS knowledge, do your best in the additional CSS tab. That's it, done. Everything is on now and you can see the full screen results after closing the customizer. Log out from the dashboard and go back to visit your live website. Everything is in place. Thanks for watching. Feel free to post a comment, give us a like and subscribe.